So the Dark Swan storyline. Yes, I'm very excited. We're very excited about it too. The makeup has obviously been something that's going to transform you a little bit. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned in another interview that you were researching um, other fairy tales. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you could name some of the ones that well, you were looking at. You know, it's interesting because what happens is all these different cultures have several different fairy tales, right? Mm -hmm. They're similar. And so they're kind of called different things in different cultures. And then I was looking at the psychology, uh, like certain psychologists have looked at those fairy tales. So the one that has been standing out for me that I feel like works for the storyline with Emma um, has been sort of generally called the Queen and the Murderer. And um, I can't think of the psychologist's name right now because I read so many of them that they're blending together. But um, he was talking about the the metaphors of like what this meant this this story of this queen that was dealing with this murder her who had haunted her for her whole life and it was sort of the same feeling as the darkness haunting Emma in a sense and so that is definitely for me one of the fairy tales you know sort of one of the generic um, amalgamations or whatever amalgamations of those fairy tales that I feel like does do, you know directly kind of line up with Emma and has been speaking to how I'm working with her right now and kind of informing your decisions yeah cool thank you Thanks. so much